Bwana Yesu asifiwe. My name is Anarita Kituku William ama Lumuli ama Lumusta ama Lums. Wengi umuita hivyo. And I'm honored to be here uh, giving him support as he ministers unto us. Thank you so much and be blessed. Acha tumuombe. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, come before thy presence this afternoon. We present your minister to you for the word. Give us a listening here and accepting hearts, oh my God. My Father, we pray for the Holy Spirit to minister to him even as he renders your word to your people. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray and believe. Amen. Thank you. Uh, we can now have our seats. Possibly uh, just to remind ourselves uh, through the introduction, my name is William Nabuora Lumuli. Uh, I'm saved uh, Jesus is Christ, is, uh, Christ and my personal savior. I've been in this journey of salvation for more than 20 years and I thank God for his faithfulness because he has really held my hand up to this far. Now, uh, today we are going to learn uh, on something we all know something we all practice. It is not a new thing to us. Uh, we are going to learn about being grateful. I'm offering thanksgiving. Niko shua kila mtu amambia mwingine asante at some point. You've received a gift from someone and you've appreciated by expressing yourself by offering thanks. And the same happens with God. When we receive from God, we don't take it for granted. We don't acknowledge that it is our own power. Neither has it been on our own mighty. I'm possibly kama wewe ni chairman mahali useme it is because of your chairmanship that you are able to reach that far. No, it is because God has been with you. Banessa Sefiwe, throughout the men's week uh, in the revivals, uh, the preacher alikuwa natuambia kuwa God knew us before we came into being. And for that reason, he also gave us an opportunity for us to accept him. So he says he's at the door knocking. So if anyone opens for him, then he will come into him. And by so doing, you realize that when God comes to you, you are able now to thresh mountains sequently because you've received that power through Jesus Christ. And then once you accept Jesus Christ to come into you, then he equips you. First of all, alikuwa mekujua, sindio? And then now he gave you a chance of you accepting him as Lord. Immediately you've accepted him, haizi tena kukuacha, bado anafuatilia that the man ambaye mekupa to make sure that you are equipped for the purposes of the kingdom. Bonesa sefiwe. As we go on, we realize that even as we speak about Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving has a number of items or a number of benefits that comes with thanksgiving. Unaweza imagine umepea mtu kitu and then haku appreciate, he's not showing the gratitude to you. Then if next time the same person comes to you, I don't think whether you'll be obliged kumpatia. Si kweli? Ama akikuja tena utampea. Or possibly if you are giving the person, utakuwa na some limitations. How utampea as you wished to. Because... Previously, when you offered help, previously, when that person came through for you, you never say thank you. And therefore, that person, because he's what an anadamo, we will limit ourselves. So, uh, we read from the book of uh, Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 18. The Bible says, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Jesus, uh, in Christ Jesus for you. Vanessa Sefiwe. So when we are talking about thanksgiving, it becomes a principle when it comes to the matters of God. So as Christians, what happens to you when you get a principle? We need to act on that principle. Just the same way there is a principle of giving. So if you act on the principle of giving, then there are the benefits that will come with that giving. So which means... If you don't align yourself to the giving, then you've decided to choose yourself not to get the benefits. And the same will happen with thanksgiving. 
if you don't align yourself to the will of God who is asking you to be thankful, then every benefit that will come with the thanksgiving or with a grateful heart, then yourself, you've decided that you don't want to get the benefit. And it is your choice. When we are born again, or rather when we are physically born, God gives us the same space. Hakuna ule mungu anapaya preference in life. You are given the same platform. So choices are given to us. So we are the ones who now make the choices which way to follow. Which choice should I take? Just like if we were in a class, we are sitting under the same teachings of a teacher ama a lecturer. Tunapewa mifana ama tunapewa algebra to use. But you'll find that at the end of the results, kila mtu atapeana jibu yake tofauti. Why? Because you've decided to take your option, you as a person. Kuna vile o menye unamune sema, this is my choice. So why is God telling us that we need to give thanks? Remember to mesema, before even we were formed, God knew us. And therefore, in every aspect of life, whatever you are doing, already God knows. It is only that in the sasa umefika hapo, you are wondering. But the one who chose you, the one who called you, he already knew. So for you, it is just to submit to his will and say thank you. At times, when we are offering thanksgiving to God, we are only doing it for a formality. Possibly, if you are praying, let's say you want to leave the house. Unaifanya for formality because possibly the wife atakuuliza na leo haukuomba. Ama mtoto atakuuliza daddy haukuomba. So you are not showing the gratefulness of God for what he has done for you. You are only doing it uh, just for formality. But now when you are doing so, then the strength, the sacrifice in your thanksgiving or the sacrifice in your gratefulness to God, it is not being uh, given out. It is not coming out. And we are urged that when we are doing so, uh, we need to give it uh, like a sacrifice. Because when someone is helping you, not that I can I enough, if I was to give you a thousand or five hundred shillings, it doesn't mean that my reservoir has enough. No. It is because I'm offering a sacrifice. So, and when I'm doing so, it is because I'm also indebted. I'm trying to make sure that whatever God has blessed me with, I'm also extending the same hand. And possibly, I'll be an answered prayer to someone else. So, if you So, to Neza Pia Soma, the book of um, Psalms 107, verse 22, it is just giving an emphasis of offering a sacrifice uh, to the Lord of thanksgiving. So as we wait, uh, you know, now, uh, when we are growing up or when we are growing in salvation, there are seasons that come our way. And this, these seasons, they must be there, whether we like it or not. The Bible says in uh, uh, Exodus, Genesis or Exodus 8.22 that there, we have the summer seasons, you know, we have the cold seasons as long as the earth is there. So as long as we have accepted Christ, as long as we are alive, there are seasons that will come. So whatever we need to do, we have the key with us, with this thanksgiving to God. But normally what happens, we look at the problem other than looking at the solver of the problem. So we are pulled down because of the problem, forgetting that greater uh, is he that is in us than the one that we is in, in the earth or in the world. So when we call upon the name of the Lord, we will be saved. Vanessa Sefiwe. Now, why do we offer thanks to God? We are saying we offer thanks to God because God deserves our thanks. We offer, uh, we offer thanksgiving to God because God is almighty. He's our provider. He's our teacher. So we are only acknowledging his power in our lives. Tukesema ya kwamba, wewe ndiyo mungu ambayo umetumba. And therefore, whatever thing we are doing or whatever thing we are receiving, it is because God, you've commanded us to receive it. Banesa Sifiwe. In the book of Romans 8.28, uh, the Bible says that uh, everything works for good for us. So it is only that we look at the problem. But if we are keen enough, we are able to see 
why is God preparing me or why is God allowing this to happen to me? So if you offer thanksgiving, God will be enticed. Mungu atafraya because he'll be like, this son of man is not of mine is not looking at the problem that is pressing him at that time, but is looking unto me, who is the author and the finisher of his faith. And therefore, he will make sure that your faith has been strengthened. Kwa sababu mungu mwenye pia hatataka kujilet down. Sikweli. Because you are calling upon him. He says, those that call upon him, but are quite strengthened. And therefore, when you are calling upon him, then obviously he will come with his power to make sure that as you do so, you will be also a testimony to others. So that utambia mwingine, there was a time that I was passing through the same, but I only had something that I did. I only offered thanks to God because this was not the first time I was passing through that situation. The possibility or the difference can only be magnitude, the magnitude of that problem. We, are, we can all attest that from where we are coming from, there are some things, even kupata shilingi miyamoja was an issue. Even paying for a bed sitter was an issue. But right now, kuna wale ambao mejenga kwa already. Kuna wale ambao, they are able now to pay for a mansion. Why? Because God is taking you through stages. So whatever you need to do, you as a person, you only need to offer thanks. Because if the other time in a small situation that at that time uh, seemed to be hard for you, to someone else, it was just like a wind passing. So as you offer sacrifice of thanksgiving to God, God will come through for you. Now, uh, also, why do we offer thanks uh, to our God? Because we avoid the wrath of God to be revealed to us. This is according to Romans, Romans chapter 1, verse 18 to 21. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, and Godhead so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify him as God, nor were thankful, but because futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened. Uh, when we are reading this text, God is revealing himself to us. But because we find ourselves, we are doubting, we find ourselves those things that have revealed to us. We all know that God is God, our provider. And then when you are in need of provision, you are not even uh, telling God to provide for you. Or if you are reminded that God is the provider and you pray to him and he provides, where was solution in a tatuliwa and then you just walk away without saying thank you. Just as I started in Kasema, if someone was to offer you something and you don't say thank you, then the next time if you approach the person, then it will be difficult for you to, to reciprocate or to give you the same. So the same happens with God. He has revealed everything to us. Happy are we because we have the Bible which gives us all the answers that we require. But what happens, we find ourselves not following the Bible or not following the status that have been laid for us to follow. So when such thing happens, you are not following uh, the God's command, then his wrath will come down for you. And when the wrath comes, then it means you will not receive that which you are praying to him. Because Abu Haujam acknowledge so if you've not acknowledged the mightiness of God, then uh, how I sure that now at a respond to your need? So you find that because of the expectations that we are having in life, we'll find ourselves blaming God. maswali, uh, why this happened. And you already know God says there is no jaribu amala or trial that will come your way that is not, uh, that you will not be able to conquer. But we overlook that. So what happens, we now channel our focus back to the problem itself. So we find ourselves not thanking God. But if we are able to channel, because God has given us uh, 
that way that we are supposed to follow, then we'll be able to tell him thank you and we'll not start blaming him. Uh, also, we thank God or we render our gratefulness to God because we are acknowledging God for all his wonders. Kuna mambo ambaye mungu ametutendea. Even just waking up, it is not that uliamushwa. Possibly uliamusha because the person who was waking up, alikuwa na kuamusha, he knew you are supposed to go to work. But what if the person came and told you to wake up and you never did? Or possibly, if you are trusting God for something, and then, mutu wa mekupea direction, let me say, uh, umetaka kuenda mahali for an interview, ama unatafuta kaza, and then a person tells you, ukienda mahali fulani, ama ukienda A&M, kuna mahali ambapo wana ajiru watu. Right? And then, because you didn't pray, you are just going yourself, kwa sababu umambiwa. There's a, a possibility yo kazi ya utapata, Utarudi wanza kusema, wali nituma mahali na hakuna kitu. Just because you took that chance for granted. You never thanked God for that. Because God will always give a sign to every answer. As I said, the issue that normally happens is we focus to the problem other than looking around to know. Is God answering the prayers that have been asking? Is God coming through? So wakati unangalia problem, then you'll find yourself you are missing the mark. The sign that God is giving, itakupita just because you are never keen. And again, what happens? You'll start blaming God because haja come through for you. Vanessa, uh, We also uh, give thanks to God uh, because God has given us a share in his inheritance. So the inheritance of God is there for, for us to be partakers of it. So if you don't give thanks to him, then you will miss. To Mesema, we also give thanks because we don't want to face the wrath of God. So if the wrath of God will come, then we will miss, uh, we will miss that inheritance of saints. That is according to Colossians chapter 1 and verse 12. Now, after we've known that we need to offer thanks to God, what benefit will it come, the benefit that will come by you offering thanksgiving to God or having a heart that is uh, grateful to him. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 14, I know that whatever God does, it shall be forever. And therefore, what happens if we give thanksgiving to God, the benefit that will be there, it is that God will preserve our blessings forever. And that one is clear from the book of Ecclesiastes that whatever blessing God has given you, because you had a grateful heart, you were a thankful person to him. Therefore, because he has given you that blessing, he will make sure that he has preserved that blessing for you. This is evident from the ten lepers, the one who came and said thank you. God or Jesus told the person, your faith has made you whole. So the problem was solved forever. So when we offer thanksgiving to God, again, as a church, you know, we are celebrating 40 years uh, very soon. We are just going to tell God, thank you for this far. Because if you are able to track from the photos and the videos that I've been posting, we've really come from far. And therefore, we want to tell God that thank you so that he will be able to preserve us all through. Bakavile tutaito kwa kebwanesa sifiwe. Uh, another point, uh, the benefit of giving thanks is uh, we give thanks because we, we want to access God. Thanksgiving becomes like a key for us. If uh, the president angekupea that hearing and then unaenda na like hizo sifazake zote, you know, I don't think if anyone will block you, uh, asemo singie, you will have the access. Vanessa sefiwe. The Bible says, Psalms 100, we will enter his gates with thanksgiving. Now the thanksgiving becomes a key for us to go to God. And when we arrive in his presence, then now we are able to pour out our heart. We are able to tell him what we want. We are able to tell him what we are facing. Or we are able to ask him that, God, you've given me this. Thank you. I pray that may you also preserve it. Buonesa sefiwe. Um, 
again, we say when we give thanks to God, because we are making God to feel uh, appreciated, then God will make sure that he multiplies our blessings. This is evident from uh, the five loaves and the two fish. When Jesus offered thanksgiving to God, we read that it was multiplied and the 5,000 were fed. And not just that uh, the 5,000 were fed, there is also an additional blessing that happened. In as much as we had five loaves and two fish, even whatever was remaining was more than the initial availability that was there. So when we offer thanks, God will multiply our blessing. At times we make a prayer. Possibly we are five of us or two of us. We make a prayer to God. It is one, uh, one person with every need. But you realize that God, when he's answering that prayer, he's answering the many prayers with only one answer. For example, if someone wanted to have an additional business, he will pray to God that God will give him that blessing. Right? So when God has provided, there is someone else in a certain corner who was also now praying for God to provide a job. And then immediately what happens, God will give this person a shop or a business. The person who was asking for the job will be given a job from the same, from the same shop or from the same business. And as a result, possibly there was your family member somewhere praying that, God, may you come through for me for my daily bread today. For you working from that particular business, again, the provision will be there. So the reason of thanking God continues, continues in a chain. And that is now the multiplication of the blessing of God. And that one only came as a result of us being grateful, as a result of us being thankful to God. Buenesa Sifiwe. Um, being thankful enables us to overcome our problems instead of overwhelmed. So when we are thankful to God, we are appreciating, we are able to count the blessings, how God has taken us through. So if you are facing a problem, you will not be overwhelmed with that problem. Because you are able to say, God, if you are the same God who took me through this problem, I think this one is also another chance that you've given me to move to another level. So you'll be counting the blessings of God. And as you do so, the problems will not overtake you or you'll not be uh, pressed down uh, because of the problem, because God will come through for you. Another thing we are saying, the benefit of thanksgiving is it will free us from bondage. This is according to Acts 16 and 25. Uh, this is an example is given of Paul and Silas when they were in prison. Uh, they say they sang and praised God in the situation that were, they were in. And we read that as they were doing so, the gates of the prisons, they were opened. What were they doing? They were offering thanks to God. Possibly they were not looking at the situation why they were in the prison. They are only possibly thanking God because in as much as they are in the prison, they are alive. So the problem which is the prison, it is not pulling them down. But they are able to say, Hata kama tukukwajela, after all, tukawazima hatuja kufa bado. And by so doing, God uh, will make uh, loose uh, the kingdom of hell because of them. Now, uh, after we've known the reason why we need to thank God and the benefit that comes with it, we also need to take caution. Because whatever will be happening, you know, once you've uh, become to the kingdom of light, it is not that it is over. The devil will keep on making sure that he's pulling you back or to make sure that you are not successful. Or he will keep on reminding you of your past. And therefore, you will not start giving God uh, thanksgiving. You will not start uh, thanking God because he has saved you. So they are the enemies that will make you uh, not give thanks to God. Or what will cause you not to give thanks to God? Number one, we are saying there is the dissatisfaction. You are not satisfied. If you you'll never be satisfied, be rest assured that you will never be thankful to God. 
because immediately God will provide utaanza kuangalia another thing unataka akikupea kile kingine bado utaangalia kingine kingine ambacho unataka and therefore by so doing utajiba, utajipata you are not being thankful to him because you are like alinipea hii kidogo hajanipea hii kubwa akikupea hii kubwa bado haijatosha because we human beings the satisfaction need is never limited because unapata ule mwenye you think i want to be like him anasongeshwa juu huyo mwingine so the satisfaction will never be there so you'll find yourself if you're not keen you'll find yourself you're not uh, thanking god because of that and it also comes with this contentment uh, how to shake your problem will be just like continuous continuous you'll be lovers of money and the bible says we are not supposed supposed to be again another thing that makes you not to be thankful to god it is because of disappointment if you are trusting god for something or you are trusting mutu to come through for you nasema you have a deal and it needs someone to help you so if that person will not come through for you you will find that utaanza kuwa mlegevu you will feel disappointed uh, useme mambo ya mungu yamekuwa magumu and possibly if you had not grown uh, very deep in the words of god you will find yourself drifting away because you feel disappointed uh, when we are talking about disappointment we say it comes with lack of patience because you are praying for god and then you want the things to happen immediately it will be very difficult for god to come uh, for you to have that what you want because god's timing is the best possibly you are praying for something and you wanted it to happen in a month and god says no the month is too early for me to give you this blessing why possibly if i give you the blessing you will drift away from me or possibly if i give you this blessing itakumaliza so what happens you will feel disappointed god is not coming through for you because you are having a lot of expectations so when the expectations are not met you will find yourself you are not thankful banesa uh, sifiwe another thing that comes with it is uh, pride and complaining and murmuring you start questioning god uh, why is this happening but remember if you start murmuring to god uh, in the book of numbers 11 when the children of israel start, they started to murmur they didn't see the goodness of god after the journey that god had take, taken them through they were like mbona mungu ametufanya they were not looking at the bigger picture because you've been in bondage for more than 400 years and then right now there is hope at least if you are going there is hope you are going somewhere but still you are complaining you'll find yourself you start you start murmuring and as you do so you won't offer thanks to god and it will be very disappointing to you banesa sefiwe my last point how can we express our thanksgiving to god possibly you know you need to you know there is a benefit that comes with it and you also know that there is an enemy but now you don't know how can i now offer thanksgiving to god by offering thanksgiving to god we do it through prayer normally when we are communicating to god we offer a prayer so we need to do uh, to offer a prayer of thanksgiving we tell god who he is in our life tunamshukuru because he has been our provider wakati moses anaenda kuokoa na israeli anauliza nitawaambia who are you and then he says i am that i am when he says i am that i am it means when you are calling him as god the provider he comes as the i am the provider when you are calling him as god the protector he comes as as the i am the protector so if you are talking to god unaanza kumwambia vile amekuwa mzuri kwako that is the way you'll be offering thanks to him you will be pleasing god because of his doing again we also pray to him we offer worship to god why are we worshiping god why are we praising god because of what he has done for us why are we worshiping him because of who he is in our life so when we are giving thanks to him we are expressing ourselves that we have a heart that is grateful to him then we need to sing praises to him we need to worship him and not just doing it merely we need to do it when we mean it bwanaza sifiwe so how do we do this by spending time in worship by spending time with fellow believers in Christ because unaweza kuwa uko peke yako unajaribu kuimbia Mungu but something is not happening along the way but if you are in the midst of the brethren 
there is that feeling ambayo inakuja na praise and worship. We also uh, express our thanks to God by giving. When you are giving, you are telling God, thank you for this, and I'm also able to share with others. You are becoming a blessing to others. So, wakati unafanya hivyo, mungu anaona this person siyo mchoyo. So, next time when you're also praying for something else for God to come through, he will definitely come through for you. Buanesa Sifiwe. Proverbs 3.9 says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the best part of everything you produce. Again, you don't just offer the remaining, the remainders. You offer the best. All right? Uh, another way of expressing is obedience to him and his word and also serving the Lord. Uh, this is according to Colossians 3, 23 to 24. It is saying, and whatever you do, do it heartedly as of to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord you shall receive the reward of inheritance for you serve uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So again, when we serve, possibly in uh, every department, Kokanisa, uh, you are serving. You are even thanking God on Mambia. Thank you for this. I'm able to wake up today. I'm able to do this because God, you've given me strength. You don't do it because uh, but because you know by serving God, I'm giving thanks to him. And what happens? That blessing that is associated with thanksgiving will follow you. When it's as if you will. So in conclusion, what are we saying? We are saying that there is a lot in life that we need to thank God for. Normally what happens is that we are unable to thank God because we only look at the present. We don't look at the past. Where are we coming from? What is happening now? What is God telling me? If you are able to internalize, if you are able to have the meditation of how great God is. Because at times when Peter Mahalo Naskia, there was a stray bullet and by Lipata Mutu. And then what happens? You make it a story. Ah, Atani Lipita Hapo, you know? You don't take it like, what if it was me? Or Nime Peter Hapo Nikapata Aka in the ditch. And possibly the same environment when you linge kwa ditch, it is the same environment that you are also in. So when you are offering thanks we are saying you do it as a sacrifice. You feel yourself, how is God doing this to me? Why me and not him? Is it because God has preferred you more than the other person? No. It is because of his mercies. It is because he loves you, he loves us, and God is just. There is a reason why it happened to him and not you. So what are, we, what are you saying? We are saying we have a reason to thank God. It's only that we are looking at whatever is pressing us down and forgetting to count the benefit that God has done with us. Otherwise, thank you so much. May God bless you.